Hi guys, Gene here with Fire Sprint. I just wanted to take a few, please forgive the, the video quality here and I'll try and adjust my camera a little bit and the, um, uh, <laughs> the slideshow. I just wanted to get some information out there for you. There's a ton of opportunities still out there. Uh, I know it's a scary time, but there's a lot of stuff that you can be selling in the signage market. Uh, and I wanted to go through what some of those things are. So first and foremost, first slide here, wash your hands type signage. We do a ton of removable decals, removable stickers. Uh, you put on mirrors and windows and walls um, to promote hand washing. Those are gonna be popular for a long time to come. Uh, everybody needs those. Uh, and then you can get free graphics actually right off the CDC website. You can use it however you like, those, those federal government uh, type programs. You can always use those graphics. Um, almost however you like. Um, and then of course, we're also doing like uh, uh, foam core posters, um, foam core boards that are that are being set on easels uh, in hospital lobbies and whatnot to kind of direct people as to what the protocol is now. So keep in mind, you need to get out ahead of this stuff. You need to contact um, your clients that you're already working with and ask them if they need any signage to kind of help uh, with this situation, with the COVID-19 situation. drive throughs are going to be huge. Um, all of the people who used to walk into a store, um, you know, Starbucks is talking about going to drive through only. They probably already have by the time you're watching this video. Um, so that really gives uh, them an opportunity to promote at the drive through That's corrugated plastic for bollard covers and for the light pole signs, as you can see the ice cream there. Um, that's uh, translucent polystyrene, which is uh, great for temporary illuminated menu signage. That is um, 040, 030 polystyrene for snap frame inserts. So those are the aluminum inserts that are on the outsides of buildings. Oftentimes you can put polystyrene in those and then it's weather resistant uh, for 30 to 60 days. And so those are very cost effective things that you can put outdoors um, to promote in your drive through. We'll have all kinds of links for you. And then of course you can contact us too for more information on these things. Delivery service area signage. This is something that I don't see enough of, I don't think. Imagine driving into your neighborhood, there's a, a local pizza chain or pizza restaurant or, or um, uh, even a grocery delivery service. Driving into your neighborhood, yard sign sitting right there saying, free delivery zone, free delivery here, free delivery to your neighborhood, simply call or visit us online. Um, those kinds of things are awesome. And then they help consolidate the delivery areas, which really helps make delivery a lot more economical for your clients. Um, if you can get a whole neighborhood kind of buying from one pizza joint versus another, um, then it really helps uh, consolidate that those delivery costs um, and makes free delivery a whole lot more viable. So we deliver here type signs, get 50 of them, put them out all over the delivery region of uh, your client. Critical in-home in care services. So this is not only is it is it like, you know, nurses and, and uh, physical therapists, even primary care um, doctors, uh, NPs and, and MDs are, are visiting um, homes, going direct to homes to help prevent people from spending too much time in waiting rooms. So they will need um, decaled vehicles, uh, quick, down and dirty. You can put magnets right on their vehicles. Um, their business cards and all their printing needs. These guys aren't going anywhere. They're going to be busy forever. And so uh, if you can get in with these guys and, and um, provide print and promo services for them, you've got it. That will continue. And that is regardless of the recession or, or um, you know, what's going on with COVID-19. Also keep in mind, you have a bunch of people spending a lot of extra time at home that weren't there before. <laughs> We're going to clog the sinks and clog the toilets and things like that. Plumbers and electricians, HVAC repair people, um, you're spending all this time in your home. You're working that stuff a little harder than it's used to. Uh, they're going to be busy and out there, too. They've got their trucks and they need signs. You put a sign in the front yard so the neighbors can see that you called Joe's Plumbing Service. Um, these are critically important uh, services that aren't going anywhere. So if you can kind of get in with these guys, um, you will have a long, uh, uh, long standing relationship with them. Directional and informational signage, um, traffic flows. So, you know, you used to stop in the parking lot, you'd park, you'd get out, you'd walk in. They had all the signs. Your grocery store would have all their signs set up to direct you where to check out and where to go in the grocery store. 
Well, you're not going into the store anymore. You're going into the parking lot and you're waiting for somebody to bring you those groceries. So there's a lot of, of redirection that needs to happen in parking lots, uh, through drive throughs and things like that. The traffic, the, the heavier traffic flows. Um, you can really do a lot with A-frames and, and yard signs and, um, you know, hanging signage, things like that to redirect that traffic. That is important. And with all these changes comes a whole new set of signage and, and um, ways to kind of uh, communicate the, the changes. So back to a core here is ag signs. The farmers are going to plant if they haven't planted already. The crops are going to grow and they're going to harvest in the fall. And with that comes the ag signs, the seed signs, field grows, um, um, field signs or, or um, seed row signs. They're out there. If you can get in with these guys, uh, it's consistent year after year. It really has very little to do with the economy and very little to do with what's going on with COVID-19, for example. Um, seed signs are a very stable source of income if you can get in and really connect with these guys. But you need to build good relationships with them. They need to know that they can count on you. And if you do that, that is a, a great source of revenue. We do a ton of them. Finally, of course, it's 2020. It's a political year. There's plenty of contention out there. People are going to vote, even if it's by absentee ballot. You still need um, your signs out there. You still uh, are. The campaigns are still spending money and promoting. They they pole vault off of, um, for lack of a better way to say it, terror and and um, uh, you know these events that we have, and so. They will always need campaign products. So get out there and sell to your local politicians. There are a ton of politicians on a local level that don't get a lot of um, uh, attention. So think about your sheriffs and your city council seats and your commissioners. And um, They are not as heavily um, – uh, people don't go after them quite as heavily. There's, there's a lot less competition. So if you can show them a little bit of personal service – uh, you can really get a lot done with a lot of your local politicians. Show up face to face, uh, or <laughs> at least do a video conference with them and show them that you're there and you're available, and that you can connect them to this huge network, which is um, print, promo, and signage. So, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to email us marketing at firesprint.com. We want to get through this together. We want to help you in any way we can. If there's anything else we can do, let us know. Thank you.